All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another round of Coffee and Questions. What's today's topic? Now, on one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can make a torch holder for your MIG gun, TIG gun, plasma cutter, oxyacetylene, whatever. It's right here. I'm gonna show you how to make another one. It's very simple, out of scrap metal, and it comes in real handy, but let's talk about this first. Piece of pipe here, it's about two inch ID, cut in half, piece of angle iron, scrap, bed frame rail, whatever you wanna use, and down here's a little piece of plate, and I welded it onto one of these Harbor Freight magnets. You can make the little tray here if you want to, like I did, because it holds my oxyacetylene torch as well as the MIG gun. Um, past video. Anyway, that's all there is to this one. I had a question. Is there a way, you know, a simple way? I mean, I can make one for my garage or whatever. And I said, yeah, you can make one of these. And I explained it. There's no particular length. I mean, this is probably... I'll give you the dimensions real quick if you're interested. Seven inches long. And yeah, it's two inch ID pipe or OD, whatever you want to get, it, it won't matter, ID or OD, but it's two inch. Just a piece of angle iron right here. And all this is is, this is three quarter inch, but you don't need it three quarter, you could use half inch or whatever, Harbor Freight magnet. This is a piece of quarter, just cold rolled steel, you can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever, if you don't have any in scrap. And this is just another piece of angle iron that I cut a notch out of. That's all there is to this. I mean, very easy to make. It's not a beauty contest, right? So it's not like this picture perfect, you know, MIG gun holder, but it's damn good because you can pick it up, set it wherever, and the magnet holds it on here good and tight. Okay, let's talk about another way that you can make a MIG gun holder or torch holder. Get some round pipe. Okay, now this right here, I'm going to give you two pieces because it doesn't matter what length you use, but you're going to get a piece of pipe here. But I'll measure it for you. Uh, it's one and a half inch ID. Now, I also have two inch round pipe or bigger. It depends because besides holding your MIG gun or torch, you can drop tool handles through here like hammers and stuff like that. Like I've got some handheld sledgehammer kind of things and I've got the bigger ones and I've made these and I just drop the handles in through here. So it'll hold a lot of different kinds of tools also. Okay, so your choice in pipe. So today, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the short one. We'll call it for a MIG gun holder, pliers. You could drop pliers in here, whatever you want. And I rough cut this. You're gonna have to clean up the edges, of course, to make it look better. But this is what we'll use. Now, the next thing that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a piece of uh, channel iron, uh, you know, or get yourself a piece of rectangular steel like I did right here. But make sure that this is thick walled. I'm gonna switch over and talk to you in a minute about one of my neighbor's kids that made one and he thought he did a great job and in a way he did, but he used too thin gauged uh, metal. And so when he screwed it down, it started to separate and bend this. He was gonna trash it. I showed him a way to fix it. I'll show you also later on in the video, but get a thick piece here. And then you're going to get a nut and a bolt and you can actually, you know, weld a piece of steel on the top and make a handle. Now I have a bunch of these plastic molded handles and if you need some or whatever, um, I, sell, I sell these things as kits and ship them. So you can contact me. I'll leave you my email, you know, right here. And I do lots of things for people that don't have the tools or that don't have the time or whatever and so they'll order like a kit from me and then they'll put it together themselves. Anyway, back to this. So you got this and I'm gonna drill a hole in there so this bolt, whatever bolt you get, actually goes into it. Okay, so this is just a nicer handle, but like I said, you can make it out of whatever. Then you want the size nut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here like this and to me it's just a quick, easy way to do this. I'm gonna screw it down quite a ways just like this. I'm going to set it on there like this. Now, you don't have to over weld this. I'm going to put, with my MIG gun, I'm going to put a weld here and I'm going to put a weld here, something like that. It holds this nut onto the piece of channel or the rectangular steel nice and tight. And that's going to create that handle that you're going to secure to the bottom of a workbench. So if you have 
a very wide workbench, then you're going to want a piece of wider, you know, rectangular steel or channel steel. So let me weld this and I'll come back with you in a sec and I'll show you we're going to need two other, we're going to need one other piece, pardon me, piece of flat steel. This right here is about an eighth of an inch thick, so it's a good thick piece. It's cut square on one side and it has an angle on the other. Okay, now this angle doesn't matter that much. What it's going to do eventually when I weld it is be like this and it tips it. So you can just experiment around with the angle. Let me weld this right here, this nut. I'll be right back. All right, folks, so we're back. Now, what I did here is, like I said, as I welded, put a little MIG weld here, a little one here, and it holds that nut on. And I got the hole going through, you know, this piece of channel. So this bolt right here on this handle will screw down. And that'll hold it in place. Okay, and then I went ahead with this little bridge and I welded that on and then I cleaned up this piece of pipe with my four and a half inch angle grinder like I said not a beauty show we're just trying to get something real functional cleaned it up cleaned up both sides this is ready to use now here's a word of caution where a lot of people make a mistake and I'll show you a diagram here in a minute that's going to make it a lot easier for you to understand this piece of you to understand this piece of channel you, I don't know how thick your table is, so you have to figure that thickness and then you want to go just a little bit more than that. That way when this bolt screws up through there, you know, it's going to lock onto whatever that table is. Now, if you're not careful, and like this one, it's going to bottom out right here. Now, if your table is a piece of sheet metal, this isn't going to work, okay? So you're going to need one that's got a longer bolt. It's that easy, okay? So you'll get one that's got a bolt plenty long enough unless you've already sat and figured out, you know, hey, look, I can get away and use one of these plastic molded handles here, which is nice to grip. Otherwise, you can use the one like the kid did, which is right here. Let me show it to you real quick. And here's the one he did, and he just used this piece of round, you know, bar metal, this piece of steel, and he welded it to a carriage bolt and he made his plenty long enough so it can go from a thick table to a super thin one and that's your choice but now he made this too thin and I'll discuss that with you here in just a sec but these are easy to make okay got trouble making them drop me a question ask me whatever you want so let's switch inside and I'll go over questions and answers with you and we'll talk about the one that he did and what I did to fix it we'll talk about the other ones that you can make yourself right here like I said, very handy. I mean, if you have this on your tabletop or something, you can drop handle pliers into there. You can put a hammer handle down there and hold your hammer, you know, your MIG welder or whatever. I mean, so they make nice holders. They're very mobile. You can move them all around. All right, let's go inside. I'll catch up with you there. Okay, folks. So you saw out in the shop how I went ahead and I made one very similar to this. And you can use, I mean, a different size diameter piping, I mean, to drop hammers in or whatever you want, like I was saying, or your MIG torch, your TIG torch, you know, your oxyacetylene, whatever, just a safer place, I mean, to put it, you know, in, you know, when you're using and you just want to wait and you don't want to lay it down anywhere and, you know, cause yourself a problem on the shop. So, I mean, this is one quick, easy way, I mean, out of scrap, I mean, you can make something like this. Now, one of the questions is what size wire do I use personally out in the garage for DIY projects? You can get, uh, what I get is I get 025 and 030. Now, 030 is really for thicker material. Uh, you can use 025 on pretty much anything probably you're gonna do out in your shop, but nothing wrong with the 030. 035, again, is for even thicker material. So those are my quick thoughts on that. I have both 025 and 030 though. Okay, another question here is where do I buy my MIG tips and how often do I use them? Well, okay, it depends. Now, let me show you an ad off Amazon and I've bought in these MIG tips. Now, more recently, actually, my past couple of purchases, I bought the Vulcan brand from out at Harbor Freight. I have the Miller Matic Freight. I have the Miller Matic 211. You know the auto set and they screw on and they work perfectly fine i mean i haven't had a problem with them and i'm going to continue to buy them they come in a 10 pack and i would encourage you to have a pack of 
you know, 025 and 030 laying around because there's nothing worse than having to stop a project over some little small consumable like that and you got to run out and get it and come back. So they're always handy to have, you know, as extras. But those are the ones that I buy to answer your question. Somebody said they're not giving you a discount on these. I don't know. Out of my Harbor Freight, they were $8.99. They gave me the 20% off, which dropped it to $7.20. And I think it's a better price than you can even buy, you know, on Amazon or anywhere else. And these MIG tips work equally as well, all the way around. They're still a great tip, the ones that are made by Vulcan. Um, do I think they're really all that great? Well, yeah, I do. I think they're just as good as any of the major brands and you get them at a cheaper price. So why not at least try them? I mean, I think you'll find out for yourself that, yeah, they are. So the question is, is there anything to increase the longevity? Well, yeah, I use Radner anti-splatter spray. I use it on projects. I use it on the inside, you know, of my MIG gun shield and it helps prolong, you know, the life of those tips. Now, the other thing you can get is you can get tip gel. Let me show you both of the ones that I get. Hold on. Okay, so there's the spray and the tip gel. You know, it's your choice or both. I have both. And I use them at different times for different things, but they do prolong the life of whatever MIG tip you do have on there. Um, you'll get more life out of them. Um, okay, you're asking me if these Vulcan tips will fit your particular MIG welder. Okay, let me explain. I don't know, okay, because I don't have all of these different kinds of machines and I don't have a variety of things, I mean, that I can really, you know, tell you what it'll fit and does not fit. Take the one off of your gun, take it out with you to Harbor Freight, match it up. That's what I did at first. I took the one that I had that was on my, you know, my Millermatic. I took it out there with me. They let me take one of the tips out of the little plastic containers it comes in. I matched it up and I knew that it would work. I went ahead and brought them home and I knew that I could always take them back to Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight always gladly takes their stuff back if you're dissatisfied. They worked fine, been using them ever since. Okay, folks, I wanna thank everybody for following me and for watching. I hope you click subscribe. If you know of a product, better product, I mean, drop it in the comment below. If you know of a better design than what I'm showing you up here to make you know a quick, easy little torch holder, Drop it in the comment. Let everybody know. This to me is a fast, easy one that you can do out of scrap metal. And I showed you out in the shop how to do it. So I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. I hope everybody has a great weekend or a great day, whichever is coming up. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, folks. Bye-bye.